Right. There's a, there's a good one right here in front of Right. Wow. Oh. Thad Schmitz of Janesville loves the Cedar River. That's the reason why he often goes on expeditions to clean it up. Recently, he was able to pull out an old boat. At least. And every few years it pops up. Last year it was completely buried. Couldn't see it. I poked around a stick and dug around the area. I couldn't find it. This year it was finally exposed. So since it was exposed, it's a great time to get it. Next, Come next, uh, next summer, it'll probably be underground again. They had a decent amount of log jam on top of it. We had to take a chainsaw, cut some, cut some wood out of it, um, dig it out of the mud, pry it, dig it. it. Took a lot of work. Where did you find it? Where? Yeah. Uh oh, just off the stream, just around a bend. Um, I'm not sure exactly the distance, but it's just the just around the bend here. There's a small island. Same thing. And you have no idea who it belongs to or anything like that? No. We can find out. It's got some old stickers on it. Yeah, well, actually, no. The stickers are uh, basically is unreadable. The uh, numbers on it. I might be able to get an idea and maybe contact DNR. Let's see who it used to belong to. Is right now is. It's worthless it's as far as the boat goes. What Nobody's is this? Yeah, it's, as Zane's point out, it's been punctured before. Uh, really poorly patched. Why did you dig it out? What's that? Why did you dig Why it out? Why dig it out? Just to get it out of the river. Now the piece of trash doesn't need to be doesn't mean it on water. How, how long did it take you to pull it out? A couple Shower hours. There. Two or three hours, I think. We worked on it. There was a. Uh, well, you'd be able to see pictures before we started working on it. Um, it was less than half exposed on the side, basically. What are you going to do with it now? Well, now it's just kind of river yard art. As far as I'm concerned, I'd like to just get money from recycling it, but I don't know if I can really recycle it. I have to call that DNR and look up the numbers um, on the boat. Well, I can't take it in because they could have been stolen at one point, and I don't want to be the person that they uh, accuse of stealing it. Yeah, it'll be so, interesting to follow up on the mystery of the boat, find true. out where it ends and who it belonged to. And, and it, it could have it could have came up from Minnesota even. But I'd not miss it, it's got Iowa. There were stickers on it, but still, it could be up by the border, as far as we know. What do you estimate? How long do you think it's been in the river? At least since 2008. That's when we first seen it. That's when we believe it got stuck there. But uh, it could have been before then, but for sure 2008. So it's been eight years, almost. Well, I'm glad that you were able to pull it out at the very, you know, after so many years. Yeah, I wanted it last year, like I said, but couldn't find it, and it was finally exposed itself again. What thickens? We'll find out who it belongs to, right? I don't yeah, know. Every every time it would flood, it would sometimes get totally covered up with sand again and, and it, 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 you couldn't find it and then the next flood to come along and kind of expose it a little bit so it got exposed again so I figured now's the time to get it out while we yep. can find it the two of you tried to get it out yeah oh, Matt did most of the work <laughs> I just it was his project we had some help my brother stopped to help there are some uh, canoers that we know they stopped and gave us a hand at the end but here it is, right? Mm -hmm. The mystery of the stuck boat. There's more. I know of another boat downstream that I wouldn't mind getting, but I'd have to wait for the water to go down quite a bit. It's right in the middle of the river. That's going to be a tough one to remove. But. Well, you have been doing this as a project. You know, you've been fishing out tires and other garbage from the river. It'll always be a non-stop project. It's just something I want to keep continue doing, yeah.
This next one though, if you if you if you end up going you call me before you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I probably can. But the problem with that is I'm not sure if I'll be able to dig it out.